loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick eye demo and review on this eye look right here. And I'm going to be using the new Morphe Kathleen Lights palette that recently just came out. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more, keep on watching. Okay, so to prep the eye before going in with the shadow, I'm going in with the Studio Fix Perfecting Stick from MAC. I literally love this little guy. It's just, I feel like it's perfect when you are in a rush and you want to do a quick concealer. Like, you just go, psh, 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 and you're done. I just think it's very easy. Like, it's, like, user-friendly. Like, you don't have to, like, sit there and squirt it out. So, I do like this a lot. I definitely use it more for, like, cleaning things up than concealer. I did get NC20, which is a pretty good shade for me. I'm... I think I could have went a little bit lighter if I want to do more of a highlight underneath the eye, but if you're using it for things like cleaning it up, I think getting your actual skin color is recommended just so when you do clean it up, you're not seeing like a white streak. It's more like your foundation color, so if you don't forget to like blend it out, it will not over, you know. I just want to put a little bit of a dot on my eye. You really don't need that much to make sure that eyeshadow does not move throughout the day. And I like to just blend it out with my finger. Some concealers you do have to set with like translucent powder, but like this one, you really don't need to set too much. You just want to like let it sit for a minute. So, for the moment we've been waiting for, I don't know, I already did my brows and everything. This is literally a strict demo review tutorial. I focus on this beauty. But let me tell you, and it's just... So I was watching Kathleen's video and she was talking about this mustard looking shade. She said that she's been wanting a mustard shade like this forever now. So let me tell you, for the crease, it's like, oh, I love. So I'm going to be swatching a few colors just so you can get the idea of like the pigmentation of the palette and the value. I'm going to be swatching another one of the pigments that I'm literally obsessed with and that's this gold one. Literally, you just go like this and you see like, oh, these colors are just so beautiful. And some of them are her own. I believe six of them are her own. And then the rest are actually palettes that have been in like the Morphe 350. Oh, palettes like that. They're actually shades from those palettes put into this one. But I do know she made a couple. And I believe she definitely made this one and this green one. And I believe this one too, which is absolutely stunning. Let me show you this one. This reminds me of like that olive green color. I feel like I've always looked for this eyeshadow. And I have yet to find it. I have yet to found it. I, have, well, I don't even know what I just said, but I found it when I got this palette and also Max Spellbinder shadows. Um, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, that's what they're called. Duh. Let me just show you one of the matte shades just so you guys can get an idea of them. I'm gonna show you this nice purple shade, which is oh my goodness for the fall time. It's just like you guys can go check out her video. I will actually link her video down below where she does swatch every single shade and gives you more of a background story to this palette. Just in case you guys were interested. I love Kathleen Lights. She's always enjoyable to watch. So let's get on with this tutorial before I make this five hours when I'm doing a simple eye demo. I stand with my review so far is the pigmentation is beautiful. The eyeshadows are beautiful. I do believe I use this palette without primer on the eye and it still looked good. Like I'm not a fan of not priming your eyes just because like Usually I have my eyeshadow on for long periods of time, so it makes me nervous, but it did not affect the pigmentation whatsoever. Sometimes when you put an eye primer on, it'll kind of like boost the eyeshadows up a little bit, give it a better formula. Not really a formula, but it'll look like a better formula, especially with like cheaper makeup. It's an affordable brand, but I just love their products. I just think it's such a good company. This is just so pretty. This was $14, like... $14. Anyways, I'm taking my MAC 224 as always, and I'm going to be blending out this mustardy yellow brownish color as my transition color. So I'm going to be blending that out. I love the MAC 224 when it comes to blending out shadows, especially the transition color. This is like my brush brush that I actually know the numbers to, like MAC 224. I know that. Anyways, I'm going to be now going in this brick shade right here. I'm just going to be applying this to the outer corner and just blending it inwards. Oh my god, I literally totally forgot about this. I need to really stress this because I feel like me, when I film, I usually do like my foundation. If I'm doing like an eye focus, like usually I do my foundation first and then do my eyes for the camera. But, and I always get nervous because of fallout and even with like translucent powder, I still feel like fallout always like, you know, comes up somehow. But this 
palette literally has no fallout. And I'm not kidding. I have no fallout whatsoever. And I'm so obsessed with that fact that this has no fallout. And I've noticed that, like, I think I used it yesterday and I'm like, this literally has no fallout. And I feel like I love so many eyeshadow palettes, but they all always have fallout. And it's just like, <laughs> and it's like common. Like, obviously you're going to get fallout. But like, this palette has done me so well. The fallout is so minimum. I'm not even going to say minimum because I don't see any. So it's like not existent. <sighs> Blended out that brick shade. I'm going to be taking my handy dandy finger. Seriously. I like been using my finger for the lid, like for the lid area, like for months, like maybe two months now. I just love it. I'm going to be taking this pretty purplish violet color with my finger. I haven't loved a palette like this in a very long time. Like, I feel like it's just like, we were destined to be together. I'm gonna be going in with this color. This brownish color. And to apply this, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M513. And I'm just gonna be focusing it in the inner corner of the outer corner, like right there. Now I'm gonna be going in with this pretty, this color that I swatched before. I wish they had names to these colors. I really don't. And I'm gonna be taking the same brush, the Mac 513, and applying that in the inner corner as well, kind of over the brown. I use the brown shade first just to give it a little more depth with this black color, which in her, I don't know if it's like talk about the Morphe palette that she came out. I think it's like casting. I don't know. I'll link the video down below that she kind of like swatches and talks about this. But she said. Which is 100% true because I literally go through this all the time. If you're taking your makeup somewhere or if you're going away on vacation and you have to pack it, etc. It's always so hard to find that matte black shadow in one of your palettes. I usually take either the Naked 2 palette because it has a really pretty um, black shadow in it. Like a matte black shadow has a little sparkle so that's like... <sighs> but I love matte black shadows. Matte black shadow. But I feel like it's always so hard to find it in a palette. That's like she was always like, I need a black matte shadow and it would be so hard to find. So like this, pop, right in there and that just makes me love the palette even more because I'm the same way and like this is so user friendly. Like it's so small, you can literally, this honestly would probably fit in my purse. So it's just like, I don't even have to worry about it and like it comes with like colors that you can go out with like with this gold, like you can make a really nice smoky eye with that. You could even make a natural look with more of this color, this color, this color and a little bit of that color. It's just, I feel like this palette is just... Perfect. So my eye is almost done. I'm gonna be focusing a little more black. I don't even know if I went in with black. To the inner corner. Inner corner, the outer corner. Right on the lid, just to give it a little more oomph. I am now gonna be shutting this beautiful palette and going on to the eyeliner. Macro Velvet, macro. The MAC Macro Velvet Fluid Line. This one is just, I'm really feeling it. Especially with the Sigma, let me see what brush this is. The Sigma E06 brush, which is, I guess, an eyeliner brush. It could be an eyeliner or lip. It's definitely an eyeliner. But, like I said, I'm really into the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Just because that's what I'm used to. That's what I'm most comfortable with. And it's black. Super black. But, like, I'm feeling this purple liner. Like, and it's not, like, crazy purple. It's just, like, it just goes with the look, I feel like, that I was aiming for. With the colors that I chose from the Morphe X Ka Kathleen Light Palette. This is so easy to apply with this brush. I just, ugh. I just never had the chance to actually use this brush. And I haven't used like a dip, like eyeliner like this in like forever. So I'm just like, it just makes me happy. I'm so glad that I started to use it. <laughs> another coat on it it just looks so much better so if you guys were using MAC micro velvet use two coats because you'll love it ten times more we're almost completing the look I'm gonna be going back in with the Morphe X Kathleen palettes and I'm going to be using this beautiful shade right here okay. and I'm using this Urban Decay electric palette brush that came with the electric palette and I'm gonna be taking this end right here and applying it underneath my waterline with the smaller eyeliner side of the brush, I think it's eyeliner, and a little bit of black. 
go back in and smoke it out. The NYX Glitter Primer, which I've been using like every day, I don't know, I just feel like I have never used like glitter primer so much as I've been. It just makes such a difference, especially when you want something to stand out. I'm going to be applying this to the inner corner of my eye and then going right over it with this nice gold shade from the palette finger and just patting it on this white color applying it to highlight my brow taking the max 24 to just blend it out and some mascara I'm using the voluminous million lashes from L'Oreal I don't know I'm just a L'Oreal mascara person I feel like I've tried other ones I tried like the Kat Von D mascara the new one that came out I tried I tried a lot. They're real from Benefit. I just feel like I'm such a L'Oreal mascara person. I just feel like maybe because I've been using L'Oreal mascara for so long. Like I use the telescopic, I use this. I've used this one for like eight years since I was in middle school. Ever since I've been wearing mascara, I've been using this one. Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. I love this. And I'm going to be going right underneath my waterline. So that concludes this quick eye demo that I did using the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. For my overall review, I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but I absolutely love it. I would totally recommend it to anybody just because literally it's beautiful, the pigmentation is amazing, the formula is just, and it's $14 and you cannot beat it. I think this palette, I just don't understand how it's $14 because it honestly, beats half of the palettes that I spent like 30 to $50 on. So Morphe and Kathleen Lights, you did an amazing job with this palette. Like completely stressing the fact that I literally love this palette. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and of course leave some feedback down below. I love you guys so much. If you guys want me to review any other products, definitely let me know because I will go purchase them to review for you. I also need some inspiration when it comes to buying new makeup products because I'm so stuck on the same old stuff that I love. So having you guys inspire me and sending me products that you guys want me to try out gives me motivation to try different things. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I can't wait to see you guys in my next tutorial. And until then... I love it so much. Oops. I always freaking do that. I always want to do the review two seconds into the video and these people are going to be like, I'm not watching.